Hey y'all, Wacky Worm here with another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. Last episode we worked on this Railcraft water tank, and you can see due to the fact that I've got FTB lib and chunk loading and everything, this thing is full of water, which is awesome. And then I also worked a little bit on some storage. I, I'm not great at the base layout stuff, uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. But I want to get kind of the infrastructure stuff in place here a little bit. So that included these storage drawers. Definitely things, I targeted things that I had multiple stacks of, right? Because that's where this storage drawer uh, solution is really going to be useful. So I've got, you know, cobble and dirt. You can see I've got 11 stacks of dirt, 20 stacks of cobble. Some of these I'm not quite there on yet, but... I also went ahead and added some of the ingots down here that we've been producing. Uh, and on that subject, I found copper and tin ore veins, and I've been smelting up a little bit of copper and tin, and hopefully we're going to put that to use this episode. Uh, we're going to target kind of two different things in today's episode. One is the Tinker Smeltery. This is because I really need to advance the materials on my pickaxe in order to be able to mine up diamonds. Uh, because those are going to be used as part of the macerator recipe. And that's one of the first steam machines that I want to be able to really utilize. Uh, and I'm kind of blocked on that right now. So I want to focus on getting the smeltery, which is going to let me upgrade my pickaxe pretty soon here. Uh, the other thing we're going to work on this episode is some steam machines. We're going to go ahead and try to get started on at least the boiler uh, and the alloy smelter, which are are pretty doable recipes at this stage, right? A lot of bronze, some bricks, which I did go out and collect uh, somewhere. I have them, I promise. Uh, but I did go out and collect some bricks from the roguelike dungeons that I found that were made of brick houses. So I've got some bricks for that. The bronze we've got the materials for, we just need to craft it up. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, one thing I do wanna call out this bookshelf here uh, there was a quest in the quest book that was just one of those check mark quests. I forget exactly which one it is, um, but it kind of explains what the different Greg Tech tools can be used for in the real world, uh, as opposed to like in crafting recipes. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, so this explains those Greg Tech tools we made and are crafting with. They actually have use in the world as well. Um, one thing that is not mentioned here for the wrench is that it can be used to pick up uh, some items, some blocks in the world, like Silk Touch, right? Um, and I was able to use that wrench in a bookshelf in the brick house to just directly uh, pick up the bookshelf, wherever it went down there. Um, and that's going to be really useful for the forestry work table. That'll kind of be another mark of efficiency for us. So anyways, let's take a look at the smeltery quest. Uh, this is a multi-block quest, so it's going to be under... Let's trigger this view mode back off so we know where we're going. It's going to be under multi-block goals, and here we go. So uh, we have this quest that I wish we could do, which is that we could pick up these uh, items from a village, but I have yet to find a village. So we're going to have to craft it all by hand. So you can see we need... Uh, two full stacks and uh, just shy of two full stacks really of sand, gravel, and then a little more than a stack of clay dust. And then that's all going to be crafted together for grout. So let's grab, uh, let's run over here and grab those materials and then the mortar because we're going to have to uh, crush them up, right? Okay. Uh, so it was 64, and I'm sure I'm going to blow through that mortar, and then we'll need to craft another one, as always. At some point I could start making these out of like iron or something, but like honestly, I really don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Maybe it is worth it. I'm not sure. Let's just do it. Hopefully this lasts a little bit longer. We need to finish off this stack of clay. And then that's 64. We need 72. Uh, oh, wait. No, that's clay dust, right? Uh, and this is going to have to be crafted like so. 
to get this clay dust, uh, which gave me a grand total of 18. So we're going to need a lot more clay dust. And yeah, you can see that really didn't last all that much longer, right? So let's just continue using this. Just go ahead and grab a stack of that. Uh, and oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. There we go. Okay. I'm going to craft up all this clay and, and maybe even have to go mining to get more clay. And I'll see you guys when that's done. All right. And so now we've got all of our clay dust. I wish I had counted how many mortars I went through. It was probably like eight or 10. It was a lot. But we've got our clay dust now. We just need to craft it into 162 grout. You can see our recipe here, sand, clay dust, and gravel and then the water bucket. I'm gonna move this over here. Uh, I actually forgot I have one on me, so could have used that. But this will be really useful for, let's go ahead and split those stacks. Uh, being close to water is gonna make this a lot easier than being further away from it. All right, uh, this is gonna take a minute, so I'll craft up all this and then we'll see you at the end of that. All right, we just finished up the last of the grout and then next is using our wood form to craft these unfired seared bricks. So I'm gonna grab that and then we'll craft those up. This should move considerably faster, I hope. And there, oops, I messed up the thing. Is that it? 160 out of 162. Two more. Okay, cool. Uh, and then these are just going to get smelted up. So we're going to smelt those up. And then we are also in parallel going to kind of start on some of the steam stuff, right? So if I... Uh, I'm having a little bit of network problems here, but... We could load some of these up. And then I have... My, yeah, my metal bucket here. Oh, this is, there we go. I can't use the clay bucket on it. It just wouldn't, wouldn't pick it up. So we're going to get these going. And then we're going to be using more uh, mortars to craft our... Uh, bronze, right? We've got to crush up the copper and the tin into dust. So let's hop over. Let's leave this quest. Let's hop over to the Stone Age uh, and then look at uh, this quest. Here we go. So starting out, it wants 32 bronze dust from us. And then if we see uh, this combination here gets us three dust, right? So we've got to do this recipe at least 11 times which means 33 copper and 1110. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep real quick. And I'm probably going to do it a little bit more than that. We'll probably do like a whole stack of copper, uh, except we want it divisible by three, right? So we'll drop one off of that. And then of course, whoops, we'll craft uh, another mortar to continue on with that. All right, so we should have all the materials we need for another mortar. There we go. And then we'll finish this off. <laughs> you can see these mortars do not last long. And the macerator is going to replace some of this functionality with the mortar for us, right? So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 63 divided by 3 is 21, so we need 21, 10, and the mortar actually made it through that. I was a little surprised. And then there we go. So that's a full stack of bronze dust, and then we need to go and smelt this into bronze ingots. So I'll see you guys back when either the bricks or these bronze ingots finish smelting. All right, we just finished making our bronze ingots so we can open up our quest book and then focus on this small coal boiler. 
you can see all of these up here are optional tasks, which is really nice because we should just be able to skip straight down here to crafting directly the things we need for the small coal boiler. Uh, and that's important for us because we picked up these bricks directly, right? Uh, one, two, and then let's head over to a crafting table where we're going to use some bronze and some iron plates. Go ahead and grab a stack of that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and plop a table back down here to make it nice and easy. So we've got our bricks here. We need seven iron plates, a furnace, and then an iron furnace. So we're going to do that. There's seven iron plates. A uh, furnace is what? It's six cobble. And three of those. And then seven, I don't know what the recipe for this is. Uh, wrench in the middle. Something like this. There's our iron furnace. Oh, we didn't even get credit for the furnace. We'll have to go back and craft that. But then we can make our boiler now with five bronze plates. All right. And then we should be able to craft that, that, that. And then I think this. Oh, I missed a plate. All right, and there's our small full boiler. And then let me think a little bit how we want to structure this, and we'll get to setting this thing up and getting it running. Okay, so we're back. You can see in my inventory that we have made all of the seared bricks that we need. I'm actually going to push the assembly of the smeltery off to another episode, though, and we're going to focus on making the alloy smelter. Uh, if you look over here, I have done a little bit of work on the pipes. So I've got these wooden pipes coming down, carrying water down from the railcraft tank into the coal boiler. And then I've got the bronze pipes coming out. And then this is what we'll attach uh, our steam machines to, right? Um, you can also see these arrows on here. So shift right click will essentially disable fluid flowing against those arrow directions, right? And so that means all the steam that comes out of here flows in this direction. And from what I've read, that helps a lot with lag. Um, don't really have a whole lot of experience with it, but we'll trust it. So this looks to be set up mostly correctly, and I do want to put it to use. So let's go ahead and craft an alloy steam smelter. So we need five plates, three bricks, and then a hammer. Five plates, uh, three bricks, and a hammer. And that's our bricked bronze hole. And really this seems like something we'll be batch crafting at some point, but I would hope to make the, whatever the machine is that makes the plates and it's gonna get us a better recipe for that before we make a ton of these, right? Obviously I'm gonna have to make at least one more uh, for whatever machine that is. Okay, we need some furnaces and some bronze fluid pipes. So furnaces and then uh, let's go ahead and craft up let's go ahead and craft up some flint where did that go here we go and then we need three six of those and then we fill this in and that gets us our two furnaces and then we just need the pipes and then the ordering of this matters here a lot, right? So it's the wrench on top and the hammer on the bottom. The wrench on top and the hammer on the bottom. There we go. And let's put these items over here and then we'll click this up. And there's our alloy smoker. So I wanna get this hooked up and I'll get some steam going real quick and then uh, we'll go ahead and use this thing and uh, see how it works. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up. Uh, I did go ahead and remove these two bronze pipes uh, just for time's sake so we don't have to wait for them to fill up with steam before it gets pushed off into the alloy smelter. I assume it gets divided equally here, but I really, I'm not sure. 
The other thing I had to do on our steam machine is right click and set the output side. All of our steam machines have to have a way for the steam running through them to escape or else they lock up. I think it's after like one full process, uh, but they'll lock up and then won't be able to make anything else if we haven't set this. So it's important that we not only set this, but then that we don't place a block on top of this that could block that up, right? So then if we open this up, we could throw in our copper and tin. And then this is a uh, very loud machine. Let me uh, cut down on, would it be that one, I guess? And we'll get this crafting. And the cool thing is this recipe is already improved, uh, not only due to the fact that we didn't have to grind the copper and the tin up, before we could mix them together and make bronze. But you can see we got four bronze ingots instead of three. So that's a slightly more efficient version of that recipe. Um, and I should have done it before I made all this bronze here. Uh, but oh well, it's not gonna matter in the long run. So there we go, our first steam machine. I'm gonna work on collecting the resources we need for more of these uh, in between episodes and then like I said, next episode, we'll work on the smeltery uh, and focus on getting our bronze pickaxe head, which I believe after it's leveled up will allow us to harvest the diamond that we're going to need in order to create a macerator, which is going to be another really useful steam machine for us. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.